Bishop Jason has not just one, but two dioceses under his jurisdiction, both of his territories in Bridgetown in Barbados and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Bishop Jason grew up in Trinidad and was and continues to be an active member of Living Water Community, a charitable ministry to the poor made up of volunteers. It was there that he witnessed firsthand the alarming surge in gang violence and poverty in his community and decided to tackle the situation head on. We're a very small church because Barbados was a thoroughly British colony where Catholicism was always a minority religion. And now the church has woken up and people are getting confidence and people are starting to see a future. His faith and deep relationship with God led him to the priesthood when he was in his late 20s. His involvement with the church helped him expand his sense of community in order to mediate and bring about a peaceful solution. He managed to do this by returning the power and control held by the gangs to the local people. All the parishes are working with pastoral plans to try and reach out further, to try and form their people, to try and um, cultivate missionary disciples, and to, to really have a sense of church on mission. This Caribbean community has served as a powerful pillar of strength for the most underprivileged in the West Indies. Bishop Jason, along with the local Living Waters community in Barbados, have teamed up with other charitable organizations in different island territories in an effort to heal those that are physically and spiritually starved. Barbados went through a very serious economic bump. The government laid off 3,500 workers and private sector also laid off quite a few workers. In an, e an economy where you only have 227,000 people in the whole country, that's a, a big number because it represents a large number of, of families being affected. Because of this crisis, an organization called Hub, People Helping People, was launched. He has coordinated with other Catholic charities to help bring some newfound light into those that have been financially marginalized due to unforeseeable circumstances. This small island nation is no stranger to hard times, yet its inhibitants' overwhelming ability to stand up is a feat larger than life.